Hey guys, I had a hard time when I was looking for code samples, finding an example of what the different transitions look like, and um, it took me a little while to figure out exactly what the best way to implement them was. Um, so I thought I'd put together a little helper video. I've got a sample application that I've made that anybody can have if they want it um, that just demonstrates these five transitions for navigation that are built into the Windows Phone Toolkit and um, in the sample application it has instructions on how to implement these five transitions. Um, the first step when you open up a new solution is that you need to install the Windows Phone Toolkit which is a free toolkit provided by Microsoft but you do need to manually um, Add it into your solution. So you go up to Tools, Library Package Manager, and Manage Nugget uh, Packages for Solution. And select the online option, and in your search box, type in Windows Phone Toolkit, and it will show up in this center box. I've already got it installed in the solution, so it won't show up for me. But this is what it'll look like. It'll have this little gray circle -y looking icon and say Windows Phone Toolkit and you just click the install button and close that window when it's done. Next in the app.xaml you need to add this reference at the top here. This is well, actually over right here. Um, a reference to the toolkit so that you can utilize it in the XAML. Um, and the next thing you need to do is go into the app.xaml.bb or app.xaml.cs if you're using C Sharp. Um, it's going to be basically the same. Um, in the VB or C Sharp, you'll want to change where it's um, got a reference to phone application frame. Um, you can see I've commented that out and instead I've written in transition frame. And you'll do that right up at the top of the module, and then further down, if you scroll through, you'll find where that root frame actually gets used right here. And so I changed it to transition frame and commented out the phone application frame that I replaced. Um, after doing that, then the easiest way to institute transitions is to um, put them in the app.xaml under application resources and then you can reference a style on all the pages you want to use the transition on. Um, that way you don't have to have the code in multiple places. If you want to make a change, you don't have to change it on every single page and hope, hope you remember to get them all or you get them all the same. Um, it makes it much easier and much faster and easy and fast is premium in my book. So if we scroll down um, in the app.xaml, you'll see a section marked application resources, um, and you'll have an opening tag for application.resources. And when you first start out, start out in your solution, you won't have anything there. It'll just have the closing tag to close application.resources. And so um, whether you're using Visual Basic or C Sharp, the XAML code is interchangeable. So um, the first transition is a role transition. Um, it is not very pretty in my experience and it's also the only transition in the toolkit that doesn't have a mode setting that you can play around with so I'm not sure how to get it looking right but for some reason it just doesn't have a polished fluid look to me something's, something's not quite right if anybody knows how to make the role transition work the way it probably is supposed to, then please add your two cents because it's beyond my motivation to try and figure it out because these other transitions are pointless. Next would be a rotate transition. Um, the code for all these transitions is essentially the same. You're only changing a couple little words and uh, properties. At the top here first you'll change the key is just the name that you're going to reference on all the other pages of your uh, application to utils to tell it that that's the transition code you want it to use. Um, 
and then down in here you'll look you'll have four spots where you wrote uh, mention what kind of transition you're using and of course in this one that I'm showing you right now this is the rotate transition um, and except for the roll transition that I just mentioned they all will have a mode where you can pick which specific transition it's using um, or what direction you're traveling in and to show you that um, here's imagine this is two pages of an application you have forward coming into a page and forward moving out of a page um, and then when you hit the back button you go backwards into a page and backwards out of a page so when they're talking about forward in forward out backwards in backwards out that's what they mean uh, sorry my mouse click on this laptop is kind of loud on the mic but whatever um, easiest way to mess with these um, just put your cursor right after the quotes and hit the space bar and it'll come up with the different options that exist for that particular transition um, you can see here I'm using um, in 90 clockwise in 90 counterclockwise and out 90 clockwise out 90 counterclockwise I've got a note up here um, just to help myself later on when I go to use this that there's also a 180 option instead of just a 90 um, so if you want to play with how those two look slightly different you can moving on to slide transition um, you can see here I'm using uh, slide right and left um, so that it looks like you're moving side to side it kind of mimics a pivot or a panorama control when you're going when you do it left to right like that um, but you can go in any of the four directions up down left and right in my opinion that's the best looking transition um, I think it's very fluid looking and very cool looking um, and it's my personal favorite but, you know you guys can do whatever you want um, the swivel transition it kind of looks like a like there's a, hor a horizontal bar going across the center of your app page and the whole page kind of rotates on that bar and as it comes around then the new page is on the opposite side um, it, this has, um, so I'm using backward in, forward in, backward out, forward out. There's also an option in here if you look for full screen in and full screen out. And honestly, I haven't played with that to know exactly what that looks like yet. But uh, feel free to mess around with it once you've got these easy samples to copy paste. And then last is the turnstile uh, transition, turnstile, turnstile, whatever. Um, this seems to be the go-to standard transition that many apps use, um, possibly because it's a transition style that Microsoft uses heavily in a lot of their settings menus and stuff that are built into the phone. Um, so it will make your app feel like it's sort of, you know, a part of that same same design style. Um, but like I said, I think the slide is more attractive. Um, but this again is like the go-to style. This will make it look like there's a um, uh, sort of like your app pages are hinged on one side, hinged on the left. Um, and so like one app, like you're going through like, like those old Western style bar doors, saloon doors, where you know the old page will swing away and then the new one will swing back. Um, and that seems to be sort of the go-to. Um, after you copy paste this code for the various transitions, and you can also mix and match these. You know, if you wanted to have, um, you know, a slide transition coming in and a turnstile transition going out, which um, is what Microsoft uses in their developer um, app. If you look at that, I think it's kind of recent on the on the app marketplace. Um, it's March 2013 right now, and I think it came out last month, I want to say. So it's fairly recent, um, but you can log into your developer account and look at, um, like, download data and crash counts and stuff like that. And a couple just neat at-a-glance things with a live tile, which is cool for developers, um, you know, to see how many people downloaded your app yesterday or whatever. Um, 
but you can see on um, if you look at that app, you'll see where they've mixed and matched a turnstile transaction and a slide transaction or a slide transition. Sorry, I'm calling it transaction um, to give it a really neat effect. Um, so after you copy and paste these different transition codes into your app.xaml and you give them a unique name. You don't have to copy them all, just copy and paste the ones you want to use in your app. And they've each got a unique name. Then on your pages, here's just one of my pages in the sample app. All you need to do is add this at the top of the XAML for the page. Style equals and it's a static resource in the curly braces and the name of the style that you gave it on the app.xaml page. So I've just named them each what they are, turnstile, transition, and rotate transition or whatnot. You can give them a more meaningful name if you want, like main page transition, settings page transition, or whatever it is you want, or just my transition, who knows. Um, but other than that, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to change any of your C-sharp or Visual Basic code. You don't need to add anything else to the XAML. You don't need to reference the toolkit on every page. I don't believe I tend to reference it anyway on every solution I do just because it's use it a lot. Um, but I don't believe you need it if you're not do, using something else from the transition, you're just using the style. Um, so it's real simple and easy. So you know if you copy and paste the turnstile transition, for example, into your app.xaml and do those couple of quick steps. Then just add this style line to all your pages and then boom, your application has a very polished navigation and it's very quick and easy to set up. And that's it. You can download this sample app that I've made. Um, just take notice, in my experience, animations run kind of choppy in the emulator. I don't know why. Um, but and not always, but sometimes for some reason they just run really choppy for me on my machine. And I have a reasonably beefy machine, so um, I think testing them on a device is much smarter. It'll give you a better idea of how fluid they are and exactly how they look. Um, but most of them, except for the roll um, in the sam the sample code that I have, all of them look really nice except for the roll. Um, you can mess with them like making the rotate be 180 instead of 90 and see how that changes it or make the slide go up and down instead of left to right or what have you but they they if you just copy paste what I've got you will be satisfied um, for at least a starting point and um, that's pretty much it um, trying to think if I oh I should mention this I'll put a note in with the um, the article this is the website that I found the most helpful instructions, which is what I've based this on. Um, it's a Geek Champ website um, about Windows Phone 7 navigation transitions, obviously, and they have some pretty good um, sample code that's um, pretty much where I copy and pasted this sample from, but they only show you one type of transition example. So my problem was I didn't know what the other ones looked like or what the different mode options were on them or how to set them up correctly so that they would look nice. Um, so here's samples of all the different types of transitions that I've just accumulated in one place for you. Um, and my email address in case you need to reach me for a question is ritterwp at live.com r-i-t-t-e-r-w-p at live.com um, so far I've got three different apps in the marketplace so feel free to check them out and let me know what you think about those two I would appreciate constructive feedback and everyone enjoy your coding bye